Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for joining us. This is Lunchtime with the Lord, our daily devotion for today. And today we're going to look at a, a verse of scripture found in the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter number 6, and the very last verse in that chapter, chapter, chapter 6, verse 20. And uh, when you find that, if you have your Bible available to you, if you look at it, you'll find a very familiar verse, most likely. Uh, the verse tells us in verse 20, for ye are bought with a price, therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. When we consider all that's going on in our world today, and we consider uh, the things that are transpiring worldwide, of course, with the conflict in Ukraine and our prayers and thoughts, and, and uh, specifically for those involved and those uh, people that are displaced and things of Christians that are uh, certainly uh, impacted because of that. And then we think about all that's going on in our country, uh, the, uh, the continual moving away from uh, things that are prescribed con uh, from the Word of God and commanded from the Word of God and, and things that are what well, used to be co common sense <clears throat> now is, is debated. And, and it just we're living in, living in unique times. And uh, this verse of scripture came to my, um, to my mind, as I said, a very familiar verse. Uh, but the Bible here talks about uh, who do we belong to as a Christian? Uh, we're living in a time uh, where it's, I think it's very important for Christians not to live a careless life. Uh, they're, the, the, and really, when a Christian does that, we, we, if I was to live a careless life, however I want to live, it reflects on, uh, would reflect on me personally as a person that doesn't recognize my obligations to the Lord. Uh, you see, I am bought with a price. I don't belong to myself. And if you're a believer, you don't belong to yourself as well. And uh, Paul, <clears throat> excuse me, Paul gives some, of course, needed counsel. Uh, for that church at Corinth, we know there was a lot of different uh, division and different uh, strife and different problems and carnality and immorality. And there were several things that was going on in this body of believers that Paul addressed. And so he gives some counsel for them, but also for us as well. And I want to just call your attention to three quick things from that verse of Scripture. You first find the, the price. The Bible says you were bought with a price. There was a price that was paid for your salvation, for my salvation. And certainly at this time of year, we specifically focus in on that. Uh, as Easter approaches, we, we think about and consider what Christ has done for us, for us on the cross of Calvary. Uh, certainly it was a supreme price. Uh, salvation is free for you and I. The Bible tells us, for by grace you are saved through faith. It does not cost us. We cannot earn it. We cannot pay it. We cannot uh, give enough. We can't do enough. Uh, and so salvation is a gift, but it wasn't, it was free, but it wasn't cheap. It cost God his son and it cost his son his life. And then when you consider about, consider the value of a soul, remember Jesus told the one, he said, what, uh, what profit a man if he gained the whole world, but he loses his only soul. And he talks about if you got all the world, you had all the world, it still wasn't as much value as the as your one single soul. And so you got to think about the, the the great price that was paid to redeem mankind. If the whole world, if you owned the whole world and that wasn't enough to redeem uh, one soul, how much value was in the life of Christ uh, on the cross of Calvary that provided redemption, not just for one, but for all that would come. Jesus said, come unto me, all you that labor and are heavy laden, and I'll give you rest. And, he, uh, and, and so uh, he, it was a supreme price that was paid. And uh, then not only the price that was paid that we, we're reminded here, you're bought with a price, but also the purpose. He said, therefore glorify God in your body. Because you have been but their their purpose for us, the purpose for those that are redeemed, the purpose for those that are saved is to glorify the Lord Jesus Christ. And certainly, as I mentioned already, there was a lot of problems in this church. There was carnality, there's immorality, there was strife, there's division. And so Paul was addressing some of that and he summed it up kind of in this verse and he's, as he said here uh, to glorify God in your body. And uh, that's the purpose of our lives, to live a uh, it should motivate us because we've been re redeemed, because we've been purchased. Uh, it should motivate us to try to live a holy life, to to have a 
a desire to live for the Lord, to honor the Lord, to glorify the Lord in all that we do and all that we say. Certainly we'll never be perfect on this side of eternity, but we ought to have that as a uh, mindset. That is a goal in our life. That is a motivating factor as we look at what Christ has done for us. It should motivate us to want to glorify God in our body. And so you see the price. It was a, it was a supreme price. And you see the purpose. Well, our purpose is to glorify uh, God in our body. And then uh, you find the possession. He, he said, we are God's. We belong to him. Uh, God owns the redeemed. If you're a saved child of God, he owns you. Now that should bring some comfort to us, that uh, encouragement that we belong to him. Aren't you thankful to be part of this, this great family, the greatest family uh, that's ever been known, the family of God? If you're saved, you're part of that family. That's a great encouragement. But also, it helps us to understand because we belong to him, not only is there a blessing or an encouragement that comes from that, but there's an exhortation for us that uh, that helps uh, that we need to understand is this, that because we're redeemed, because we belong to him, and that he is in charge. Uh, there is authority there. He has authority over us. And so it is a blessing. Uh, it is an encouragement, but there's a responsibility aspect of that is he's, he, ha he has authority over us. And so oftentimes we as believers, we forget that we belong to God. And so because we belong to God, he decides the pathway. He decides uh, everything. And uh, we need to recognize his authority in our life. Hey, uh, thank you for tuning in today. And if you could like and share our video today, uh, that would be a great blessing. Aren't you thankful to be part of the family of God? Thankful for the price that Christ has paid on the cross of Calvary for us. And, uh, uh, and not just the price, but our purpose is to glorify. He redeemed us to glorify him. And uh, so we have a purpose in this world. And it's to bring glory and honor to him. And we ought to do that. Why? Because we belong to him. And we ought to live by his, uh, by his word and have a desire to be obedient to Christ and to have a life that shines for Jesus. Hey, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day today. And Lord willing, we shall see you uh, tomorrow on Lunchtime with the Lord. God bless you. Have a wonderful rest of your day.